Game Shore or Turtle Sway from Game Shore. I'm here with the Hanagana Show with another podcast. How's it going? This is uh, recorded for YouTube yeah, sure, and I'm the rest the is Hanagana live. Show. Howdy. You know it. Yeah, the rest is recorded for YouTube and the rest were live streaming on Twitch. But, uh. Oh, man. We got a lot to talk about today. We got a lot of things to talk about. I'm just gonna share it, but start it off. Alright, uh. First of all, um. We both watched the Lamb movie. Thanks. A21. And, uh, what did you think of the movie? Uh. So, some people might not like it for the reason. That was kind of slow, but shit just goes like shit hits the fan at the end. You know what I mean? But that's how the A twenty four movies are. Yeah, the crazy. So this is definitely a spoiler. I'm letting the people know now for the spoiler. But in the so in the movie, like we were talking about a little bit before, there's not that many dialogue. Like the script was probably like a page and a half. That's how much they were talking. Yeah. And they were talking in like Icelandic or I don't even I don't even know what language that was. Yeah, I think it was like Icelandic. Yeah. But so there they was They didn't even talk like in the first 15 30 minutes of the film. Yeah, you're just getting like the how they live in, like the basic. Yeah. But that's uh the reason I say it's a uh, that's good, like a different way for a movie for not talking, like like for a movie with like no type of dialogue. And there's scenes where you're like, whoa, how come they're not talking about this? <laughs> like, are we gonna act like that didn't happen? You know what I mean? But talking about the child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like the first time it happens, and then the others, like other scenes. But the reason I say it's good is because the by the body language itself it tells you a lot about what's going on and how they feel and everything like that's how good the acting is and i know the movie was kind of slow to like to build it up and i thought it was gonna be like a, a horror horror movie like i thought it was like the lamb was just gonna go black phillips and like fuck yeah. shit up but it didn't but the ending was fucking cracked out yeah the ending was crazy but it, it wasn't I want to say that it was like a scary movie at all I think it was just a maybe like a psychological maybe thriller yeah like uh what the fuck am I watching it yeah. definitely was cause alright cause one of the first thing was when you hear that flop and you're like oh what the fuck and it's uh yeah. they just like look at each other like I said, they don't talk about it. And then you just see the lamb head. And then, like, scenes later, it's half baby. Yeah, you, you, don't, even, you <laughs> don't even see this child until, like, halfway into the movie. The whole time you're just thinking that they're taking care of a baby lamb like they would a human baby. Yeah, so, for those who are watching, imagine a lamb head, lamb chest lamb arm and the rest is like uh a kid basically it was a girl yeah so it was half lamb yeah. half girl and which is uh definitely like uh anonymously in life because that shit just does not happen like willy billy no because i first saw the whoa, whoa 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 did the dad just fuck a sheep or what the hell is going on you know what i mean <laughs> That's what I was <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? When here? does this man have time to just? Because oh, I was even get with a, a freaking sheep. Yeah, because his his wife was decent, so I'm like, why the hell are you fucking sheeps? It makes no sense. And and like the the message of the movie was weird. Is basically just like, don't fuck with Mother Nature, because Mother Nature will fuck back. Literally. <laughs> Basically. Now, there's one scene in the movie I kind of want to talk to you about. Yeah. You know, uh, when the father takes the 
the sheep daughter, the lamb daughter out, uh -huh. and he has that rifle. Dude, I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. He about to kill this little that was, child lamb thing. That wasn't the the husband. That was the the brother. Oh yeah, the brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought that too. I was like, Whoa. cause like, all right. So in the dinner table, that all right. Like I said, there was no type of talking, no type of dialogue. But you could tell the moment he laid eyes on the half breed, he was like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> he was like, whoa, whoa. Like, he couldn't, you could tell he couldn't, like, believe what was going on. Because, like, ima all right, if, imagine seeing that. You you go get your fucking eggs and bacon, and a fucking half breed's right there fucking <laughs> eating. You're like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? What the hell? And then you don't even hear him talk about it until maybe, like, a scene or two later. And he was like, hey, the fuck is this? And he's like, happiness scene ends right there and i'm like what you're not gonna like talk about it you know what i mean that's some shit you kind of want to <laughs> it's like are right, you telling austin like yo loki uh you're raising a half sheep girl bro how you gonna tell austin did you just not talk about it uh, hey uh, i know that you're like the dad and everything but have you noticed this yeah it's uh something is but, nah <laughs> Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Because when I first saw the trailer, my theory was uh, they couldn't have a kid, so they maybe did some type of blood magic or something. They asked for a kid. They got a fucking demon lamb kid. You know what I mean? But that's not the case either. See, I think that they just weren't able to have kids, and this miraculous thing just happen they're like oh my gosh it's a it's a gift from above it's because we can't have kids but now we're gifted with this child even though it's half lamb half half human but let's take this opportunity to raise it like a child that we're able to raise but uh so from uh mother nature was not happy about that true but from like Putting two and two uh, together, they I think they did have a kid before they just died at a young age. Oh yeah. Cause uh, cause they end up well. You said you kind of skipped the middle. Yeah. So at one point they go to the someone's grave, and I think that was like the daughter. And remember when they uh, when they had the crib, they didn't go to fucking Costco oh, yeah, or Walmart. Yeah, they just pulled it out. And, uh... Yeah, they just pulled that from the back. Yep. Yeah, I dropped my controller. <laughs> it's all good. But, uh, yeah, so they didn't, they didn't go to Walmart and buy a crib. They already had one. So that's kind of, you know, you put two in together, you know. That's why they were like, fuck it, whoa. This isn't normal, but we'll raise it. And, uh, what do you think about the ending, though? You said you did see the last 30 minutes. Oh, my god! That shit just went down. What about that, that lamb man? Yeah, ram man? Yeah, ram man. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. There's a... I didn't care to see his hairy ass cheeks walk away in the... In the camera shop, but yeah, man was dirty for sure. But we didn't have to see, we didn't have to see all that. All right, because well, obviously when I heard the shots, I thought I was like, "Oh shit!" The brother came back. He was probably pissed. Yeah. He killed his brother. Killed the lamb. Maybe even go after the wife. But no, mm -hmm. that wasn't the case either. That's what I'm saying. You never know. It just just a, shit happens. But the moment I saw a ram man with a gun, I was like, "Yo, what the?" How does he know how to use a gun? <laughs> That's why I was like, where this dude what? come from? How does he know how to use a gun? Yeah, so, and uh, shout out to D. Curry, bot season. This guy crazy. But yeah, we copping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you, in the beginning of the movie, you see, you know how they were following the sheeps? That was actually Ram Man yeah. going to them. Like, you hear the, the growl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there was a. I remember hearing that growl. Yeah, I don't know. There was another scene. I don't know if you saw it, but the ram man actually went to the house, and you see the. 
from Ada, the the sheep girl, from her eyes, because it does yeah. a close up, and from her eyes, the mirroring effect, you can see like a sh tall sh figure in the background. So you're Ooh. like, what the fuck? So uh, that's what I'm assuming he got the gun from there. But the thing is, that man would have to go inside the house. Yeah. So I I don't know how that I don't know how I don't know how that man got the gun. There's theories that that somehow was the brother that shape shifted some shit. You gotta like look into the comments because I was watching the the ending. Dude, explained. that'd be crazy if that was the brother. Yeah, because. Yeah, so I watched, uh, like, the ending explained videos, and none of them actually explain the ending. They just tell you what you saw. <laughs> and I'm like, bruh, I just wasted ten minutes of this. But the comments, that's where you start. Because you know how they were talking about, uh, like, time travel at the beginning of the movie? Yeah, they yeah. were making theories about that, this and that, that somehow the brother was that thing. I don't think so. But the way they were explaining the theories, it kind of made sense. But the ending that I did not understand, and I have my own, like, somewhat of a theory. But, uh... What's your theory? All right, because, look, at the ending, spoiler, You s obviously she's done crying. She stands up, the the mom, and she's just looking. Yeah. So my theory is that she, she saw, like, tracks. So maybe some yeah. you see uh Otto's fucking little boots and maybe Ram Man's mm -hmm. hooves, you know what I mean? And you're like, Well what the fuck? Like they're not four hooves, they're two. So maybe mm -hmm. whatever. But the thing but the last shot, you see a tear go down her cheek and you hear it go <sighs> like a sigh and it ends there. Yeah. So I don't know if that was like a sign of relief or Obviously, she's going through all the motions, but uh, that that I don't know. You know, that's why I watched the ending. Like she kind of knew, like she knew about these people, maybe. Mm, that I'm not sure, cause like she looked confused. I'm like, bro, it was the middle. It, bro, it looked like that stranding for a second. Just fucking <laughs> mountain ranges and rocks, not a people within miles, and you're just like, yo, what the fuck is going on? But that's what I like about... Why the hell did they go out that far? Because the, the tractor was uh, broken, remember? Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the tractor wasn't working, so they needed to go fix it. They go, and obviously they couldn't fix it, so like, all right, they're going to show Ada how to, how to find her way home. And they're like, oh, you go through the mountains, blah, blah, blah. And then the wife drops off the brother at the bus station, and then that's when you hear shots. And then you're like, what? But what the hell? Funny. And, uh... That was so weird. Yeah. But overall, so a movie with no dialogue and with all that, like, I think it was a pretty good movie. If you like those type of... Uh, I guess, what would you say, like a thriller or like a what the fuck movie? Yeah, like a psychological thriller. Yeah, because like... I'll compare it to, uh... uh their other movie called Lighthouse which is also kind of like a psychological thriller but I think there was more uh, suspenseful moments in the Lighthouse than this movie yeah cause alright cause uh, there was another comment that I saw I was like yo the uh, the actor for the sheep did a good job and I'm like what? Bo oh. Bo <laughs> cause that shit looked creepy but it, it worked for the movie it looked cute as fuck yeah, she was kind of... Seeing that in real life would freak me out, though. But, hey, whatever. Oh, yeah. But, uh, D. Curry said, Best X uh, Xbox game other than Halo. Xbox, like, exclusive game. Mm. And then giveaway at 20 viewers. But, uh, we were at, at 7 Ooh. at one point. So, possibly, maybe. But, yeah, best Xbox sure. game exclusive. Um, Let's see here. Uh, what's? I might have to say the exclusive. Either the first Gears or maybe Gears Three. Or Gears Three was a badass yeah, game. Yeah, facts. But shit, Fable I Two. I like Halo Three and Halo Reach. Yeah, I like Fable Two a lot. That's another Xbox yeah. exclusive. 
Uh, there's not that many exclusives, but it's probably Gears, for sure. Gears. Yeah, I'm gonna say Gears of War three. If you like like fantasy type of games, I would say Fable, the Fable series. That shit is heat. It's like a Skyrim kinda. If you like Skyrim, you'll like Fable. Yeah. Now, uh, there's some more movie news that I don't know if you know about. What is it? But, uh, Christopher Nolan is making a new movie, and he's the one that did all the, uh, Dark Knight movies. Yeah. And, uh, Inception. it's a World War II movie called Oppenheimer. Yeah, so I heard, uh... About the development of the uh, atomic bomb and the Manhattan Project. Yeah. So who's going to be the main actor? Because I saw a little bit of that. Alright, well, it's going to have, uh, this dude named Cillian Murphy. Yeah. And he's the one that did Scarecrow in the Dark Knight yeah. movies. He's going to play Oppenheimer. Yeah, and uh, it's also going to have Robert Downey Jr. and Matt Damon in it. Matt Damon? Matt Damon. Oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch, is that Jason Bourne? Oh, shit. Nah, fucking uh, Killian Murphy, he's uh, in the show called Peaky Blinders, but that shit's fucking oh, heat, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. That show. Is it Killian Murphy? Yeah, Killian Murphy. Killian? Yeah. Killian Murphy. So yeah, I think that, yeah, he's a good ass actor. So a movie about oh yeah, I'm not sure, because uh, Christopher Nolan is more uh, like, like he does the action stuff too a little bit. So I'm not sure what would they do with uh, this movie. Yeah, I feel like this would be like a suspenseful drama. Mm-hmm. Because uh. But no, I'm pretty excited. Like, I'm a big fan of RDJ. So, anything that he's going to be in, I'm down to watch it. Facts, facts. Hey, bring him back as Iron Man? No. <laughs> what, do? what if? For the MCU. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a, a, oh, another man. movie. It's called, I forgot what it's called. It was like the, the USS uh, Indianapolis or some shit. You ever seen yeah. that movie or not? No, I've heard of it. So it has, um, what's the, Nicolas Cage as the actor, or the main actor. Yeah. And it's about something with the, with the atom bomb. So it was a top secret as mission for, for him to take his ship through, like, uh, through the islands in Japan to deliver the, the codes or the bomb or whatever. So they could obviously drop the nuke on in japan right mm -hmm. but on the way back they were they got hit by like japanese zeros and not like their submarines and stuff so the ship yeah. like sunk and it's it was them like surviving in, in sea type type deal Ooh, it's kind of like stranded yeah and there was fucking sharks and some of them going crazy pretty good movie oh no nicholas cage with some sharks mm-hmm <laughs> they go crazy, bro. And uh, I, I just saw this the other day. Um, Post Malone kind of posted a uh, little teaser for a song, maybe a single on the new album coming out. Hmm. And uh, it had the weekend because it was kind of like a voice memo. He just screen recorded it. And I think he put it on his Instagram story. And uh, just like a little snippet of the song, but the weekends in it. So you think that's? I don't uh, know how much you like some posty, but I'm kind of excited. That sounds like a pretty good uh, collab. Yeah. This weekend's been been putting out some bangers. Yeah, he was also in uh, American Dad, bro. So. No. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That was like a... He was in Uncut Gems. Yeah. Bro, he was fucking Adam Sandler's girl, bro. What at? <laughs> I was like, yo, what? Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty good movie. Oh, yeah, I really liked it. Yeah. Did, did Zach say that he liked it? Yeah, Zach liked it. I think... I don't remember if I saw it with him or not. Uh, but... I know Zach's a huge Adam Sandler fan. Yeah. 
So uh, they, uh, it was kind of bogey that they didn't nominate him for an Oscar because he got nominated yeah. for like other awards, but not for the Oscar. So he, yeah. so he even. It was such a good movie. Yeah, he also did a speech because like, you, I forgot what award he won, but he was like, obviously he was like, thanks for the award, but this is like. Uh, uh, Oscar, but it's not an Oscar, but it's uh, good enough type of uh, award or some shit. <laughs> oh, I'm like, no. oh, what the hell? It's not an Oscar, but shit, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, good enough. And uh, I do have something that I think you'll be kind of shocked to hear. Let's hear it. Now, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, you know her, right? Mm. Pepper Potts. Yeah. Iron Man's wife. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, this has been out for a while, but I just found out about this, and uh, this might be some old news, but uh, she has a candle that is scented like her vagina. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh. And uh, because I I just found out about this the other day, and. I don't know what she does if she like puts stuff from her own from her hoo ha in in her candle. What if? But yeah, what? What? Now say uh yeah. yeah let's say there's a order for a thousand. How does that even happen? Well, I don't know. Like I don't know how she does it. But uh, she she's been selling these candles, and I think earlier this year, uh, there's this guy that had her candle. So I mean, she's selling these candles. I don't know for how much, but they are pretty pricey. But uh, some dude bought one of her candles, and he burnt he burned the candle over three hours, and the whole candle just combusted into flames. <laughs> And, like, did major damage to his house. Yikes. And, uh, he's suing her and this candle company for five million dollars. What the hell? So now, so now they have a subdued in Texas and, uh, saying, like, oh, the candle was engulfed in flames and my whole living room's burnt. And it smells, and, it uh, smells like her shit now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> It smells like. Yeah, now they have to. <laughs> smells like burnt pussy in here. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, mad he's mad as hell. He's mad as hell right now. And, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, apparently they had to put a warning label on these candles not to burn them for over two hours. Because oh. apparently that dude burned it for three, and, and the whole shit was just like a fucking C4 detonation. Yikes. Like a Molotov cocktail. What do you think she, but, uh, she yeah, said? Yeah, I thought that was pretty crazy. Or did she say anything? Like in a statement or nothing? No. Well, beyond me, that's for sure. I hate to say but it. Yeah, I just heard about this. I'm like, no way, that's fucking real. So I looked it up. I'm like, what in the shit? This legit happened. Bunch of menaces. I don't understand it. Question is, did Austin buy one of these uh, candles? Oh yeah, Austin's been buying yep. these for a while now. <laughs> Yo, it's it. <laughs> He's the one that told you the story. Uh, I just found out about because I walked in there and he yep. he's trying to hide it real quick. Oh, <laughs> hey, what is that, right? <laughs> hey, what is that? Let me see uh, that. Uh, right. What is it? Did he do one of these? Stuff? <laughs> what is that, bro? <laughs> what kind of candle? <sighs> that man's a madness. But speaking oh of gosh. things that Austin likes, Overwatch 2 delayed again. Hate to see it. Oh no. Hate to see it. Do you think uh, no. that game's gonna be better than the first one? Or it's just. I don't know how. I, I think the first one's just gonna be a classic. Yeah, well, that's that's why. Like, like the first one, I mean, I started playing like late, obviously, but mm -hmm. 
from I mean you guys played it like when it came out or whatever but uh, top that that must be pretty big to top that you know what I mean yeah because that's kind of like CSGO yeah it's just like one of those classic games that people still play to this day yeah you can't have a CSGO 2 you know what I mean it just makes no sense yeah and then Blizzard I don't know how like I heard some stuff what they're gonna do but I don't think it's going to be as big as the competitive multiplayer Overwatch 1. Yeah. What about, uh... What would you hear, though? That they're um, changing... I heard that it was going to be kind of like missions. Like a, like, uh, like a campaign? Besides you and the your friends. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like a multiplayer kind of campaign-ish. Decent, but, decent. Uh, yeah, and they're like reworking some of the characters so that they could do more stuff and you go up against bots and bosses. Gotcha, gotcha. And then uh, I, I know they changed uh, McCree's name. Yeah, what did they change his name to? Uh, I think it was like Alistair or some shit. Something goofy. Oh, yeah, something McAllister. Home Alone. <laughs> uh, you think that new Home Alone is going to be good? Because that shit looks bogus. Dude, I haven't seen anything for it. Bro, it's like some little weenie kid. It just don't make sense. Oh, Cole Cassidy, that's his new name. Oh, from McCree? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I just switched it up to Cole Cassidy. Uh, we, Cole Cassidy. What do you think about that? Cole Cassidy. It sounds alright. Uh, it's alright. I like it. it. Sounds a little cowboy, I guess. From Jesse McCree to Cole, Cole Cassidy. Cassidy, the Sundance Kid. Shit. Which <laughs> Cassidy, the Sundance Kid? Brit. The best uh, cowboy name, Aaron Black. From Mortal Kombat. Motherfucking yeah. menace. <laughs> and then, and uh, oh, go ahead. No, you you go ahead. I just uh, I was just looking through that thing right here. What were you gonna say? Um, I saw something too. Like at my work, things been kind of stressful with some different airlines and stuff. And uh, I've seen on Twitter. The American Airlines canceled like 2,200 flights, and there's a lot of people fucking pissed about it. Uh, like, and that, and they say it's due to staffing shortage and high winds. But I think, I think the high winds is bull crap. Yeah, that's just uh, what, no more days. What about all these other flights? Yeah. Uh, so, so these people are canceling flights, like just regular flights, business flights, like vacation type of deals, or? Yeah. All kinds of flights. Now, I don't know where we're at in the country, but there's a lot of people pissed about it. Yeah. But... And they're saying a lot about the high winds, and they're like, oh, we also kind of don't have enough workers but it's mainly the high winds but then you see all these other airlines like spirit or other or delta flights go out yeah i heard spirit so what about is them? dangerous dude i flew spirit <laughs> once, <laughs> once before i go why it's kind of sketchy <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I hear the memes all the time. But what, what made it sketchy? Dude, I hopped on it. I wasn't in charge of getting the plane tickets. I was going to get a Delta. And uh, I, I just gave my friend some money for plane tickets. And then uh, <laughs> she's like, oh, we got spirit. It was with uh, my best friend and his girlfriend. We went down to Miami. And uh, <laughs> she's like, we go in spirit. I'm like, great, we're gonna oh, no. die. It's over. 
It's over with. <laughs> yeah, because, bro, the memes, they call it spirit for a reason. Motherfucking spooky ghosts and shit. <laughs> <laughs> spooky ghosts, you're gonna become a spirit once it crashes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but that shit fucking. Because I saw a video when, like, uh, there was, like, bad turbulence and everyone's, like, crying, praying, and this guy's, like, watching a movie like it's whatever. <laughs> and the comments were like, yo, that's probably a spirit. Like, I'm not afraid to die, and I'm really, I'm really into this Rush Hour 2 movie. <laughs> oh. Rush Hour heat. Then, <laughs> Rush Hour is heat. I love Rush Hour. Thanks. And, uh, another thing I found out about going, going through some Twitter is a little Netflix news. Not only is Gwyneth Paltrow getting sued, but Netflix is getting sued now again. Because I think before they got sued by uh, um, the people that did Squid Games because it like shorted out like electronics or something over there because there were so many people watching it. Oh yeah. Short out the servers or something. So they were suing Netflix, maybe because they just wanted more money. I don't know. Makes sense. But now, Carol Baskin. Oh! Remember Carol Baskin from Tiger King? So I didn't see the She's full thing, Netflix. but I know what a. Uh, you know what I mean? But yeah, I did see that she was suing them. But for what? I don't know why. Because apparently they're using footage of her. And the Tiger King 2 series, and their contract only covered footage being filmed of her to be in the very first series. Yeah. And now she's pissed that her face is showing up again in the second series, and they haven't made a contract with her. Gotcha, gotcha. So, she big pissed. Yeah, I'd be a little pissed. I'm kind of curious to... To watch the second series too. I mean, I haven't seen the first one, and I will soon. Oh, I've been slacking on that. Dude, you gotta watch it, man. Yeah, I heard that shit's really good, but how would you. What do you think about them doing a part two, basically? Like, how does that. Do you think it would actually be good? See, I don't know how they would do a, a part two. Like, after watching the first series, it was kind of like a, a documentary type of type of deal. Yeah. And I have no clue what to expect for the second series. Yeah. But, dude, it's, it's crazy. You need to watch it. There's, like, of course there's tigers in yeah. it. Yeah. But. Because, no, I saw the trailer. was like, Mr. Tiger King himself. Tigers. Murder. Dude, conspiracy. I'm like, what? The <laughs> yeah. fuck? Oh my gosh, like, and some of the people on there, it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy, some of the faces that come up on there. There's this one dude that's like a, a zoo fanatic, and there's pictures of him, like, in his house with, like, you know, uh, Terry Crews and White Chicks, how he has that, that painting of him with that, like, tiger? Yeah. It's kind of like that. This dude has, like, pictures of him trying to look all sexy in, like, fur rugs and with white albino tigers. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, get this dude off of here. What is going on? It just doesn't make sense. Oh, the, the Tiger King dude's name, Joe Exotic. That's his name. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's a freaking character on there. He's yeah, goofier cause, and shit. Cause I've seen the memes and shit, so that's about it. So I know they're all definitely menaces. For sure. Oh, man. But yeah, man, you should get that get that series of watch. Like, I just remember it popping up and a, a lot of people watching it. And I remember one day I just had some Japanese food sitting in front of me. I'm like, you know what? Let's watch this while I eat some Japanese, and then I got hooked on it. Hell yeah. And uh, speaking of some more movies, like the World War II movie Oppenheimer, 
Mm -hmm. Heard there might be a new Mario movie. With uh, Chris Pratt? Yeah. Yo, that man Chris Pratt is going to be... I heard he's going to be doing Garfield. I don't know how confirmed that is. Yeah. yeah. Sound like, yeah, I'm what? excited for this Mario movie, man. Like, some of the actors that they got in the movie, I'm excited. Like, uh, they got Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He's going to be playing Luigi. Okay. And then uh, Jack Black's also going to be in it. He's going to be playing freaking Bowser. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Seth Rogen is going to be Donkey Kong. I think it'd be like a pretty. You think it's going to be like a funny movie or like a car, like animated action? Let's save the princess. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be animated. Yeah. Well, no. I, I, like I, just. The, yeah, I know it's going to be animated, but I'm saying like like an am, uh, animated uh, comedy or more of a. Let's let's get pieces. I I think it's gonna be like an animated comedy movie, kind of like Despicable Me and yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Sunny with a Chance of Meatballs. Both movies heat. Yeah. For sure. But uh, I also tried watching the Chucky TV series because I heard that it's really good and it has some of the original actors in mm -hmm. it from the from the OG movies. Yeah. But man, I can't find a good place to watch them. I know it was on YouTube for free, but you said it. I, I just can't find a good place to watch them. What do you mean? The Chucky TV series. It's on Sci-Fi. And you said it. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. But you said it's on YouTube for free, or what? Or what do you mean? Yeah, I heard from uh, one of my friends that I work with that they that they had like the first three episodes on YouTube for free. I tried looking on YouTube, but no luck. You might have to go to like the official like Chucky page for YouTube, and they might have like uh, like let you rent it for free or something. Yeah, I might have to rent some episodes. Like I even got the dude. I even got the Sci-Fi app. And they're like, oh, what's your TV provider? Uh, like, I, I don't know any of that stuff. I don't know the information. <laughs> so I skipped that. And they're like, well, if you don't want to do that, then make an account here. And I'm like, oh, no, they're going to want me to pay monthly. And then it's like, no, just you don't have to pay monthly. Just make an account here and we'll give you three credits. So I'm like, oh, three credits. So I did that. I just made an account. With this sci-fi, like a sci-fi account, and it gave me three credits. So I started to watch the first episode, but I was at work, so I had to get off my phone and turn it on and and all that. But every time that I went to continue the first episode, it took a credit, oh, and bogus. I didn't even realize this. But I tried to re like resume where I was watching in the first episode and it's like, oh, you're out of credits. Wah, wah. I'm sorry. Meyer shit. What? Yeah, I'm like, this is bogus. They even had commercials. No. And I'm like, wow. Bro. Give me credits and I gotta watch commercials. They set you up for failure. Nah, I, alright, so yeah. uh, it, it used to be an app, or I mean, you could probably get an, get this uh, app but there's a website where I use. You can watch all the movies, TV shows, in HD. But the only way I'll tell you after the stream though, because I don't want to be giving. A, that's how the, the the thing gets shut down. But I will tell you after Ooh. the Twitch, and then you'll be able to. Cause the only way to to be able to use it if you get a code from a member. Oh, okay. So I have to send you my code, and that's the only way you'll be able to open the app, and then you'll be able to. So I pay like four dollars a month, and now I can watch anything in HD. Ooh. So that's how I watch the Lamb for free, because you were like, it's like thirty dollars to rent it, and I'm like, huh? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna know that. Man, I had to pay twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, twenty bucks, twenty bucks. But still, I was like, hell no, nah, I'm watching it for free. <laughs> 
right now in HD. Mm, okay, okay. But another thing that uh, that came up and uh, that happened, and I was like, "Yo, what?" So the IGN said this. They were saying when uh, Back for Blood came out, like that week or so, even to like right now. Yeah. More people are playing Left 4 Dead 2 than they're playing Back for Blood. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I freaking believe it too. Yeah. So, and then people are saying, oh, it's the nostalgia of how good Left 4 Dead 2 and even 1 were, which is true. Because those games were yeah, masterpieces. Those, those were some classic that's a, ass games. That's another uh, Xbox exclusive, Left 4 Dead, that I'd probably put on the top for sure. Oh, I didn't know that was an Xbox exclusive. Yeah. Back for Blood, they made it for everybody. Yeah, kind of wonk. Wonky slash. Yeah, because I thought I was gonna, they were going to make you like, exclusive again. But they, they should have made a Left 4 Dead 3, I think. I mean, I've been, yeah, th- did you know why they did it? So, so like, like, it was the by, studios. the studio was by Valve, and apparently they just don't make threes. Like, that was, like, their thing, for whatever reason. Because they made, uh, what was that other game they made? It was, like, Team Fortress or some, sh- some shit like that? Yeah, Team Fortress 2. Yeah. That was, like, the last one that they made. So, yeah. And that was a big hit, too. Yeah. So apparently that they was like their thing. Fold in with like the Portal games too, like the Half Life, yeah. Team Fortress, and Portal. Yeah, and Portal too. So that was like their thing, I guess. Like, yeah, we we don't make threes, we just make good ass twos, or some shit. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I guess. If that's like, if that's how they want to do things. But uh, so yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> I think that's kind of bogus. That they're playing their, their older games and the new ones. Man, like, I I understand it. Yeah. I, I haven't tried out the Back for Blood game yet. I really want to. Hey, I gave you the code. And, uh, you just didn't use it. Oh, I got the beta. I know, that's what I'm saying. You, you just didn't play the beta. Because I remember I got you and Austin the code... Oh no, I, I use that code to download it. I know, but I'm saying, did you play it? Like, I, I've tested out the beta. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've tried like the beta one where it's kind of like a tutorial. Gotcha, gotcha. I just shot all the guns and stuff and it looks really good, but I just haven't played like a map in it. Oh, you didn't like play the mission then? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But yeah, I, I was just in like that gun range. Yeah, I was just in the. Oh, gun range you should have done the mission. So obviously it was just a beta, and I think they could uh they needed like to fix like the the stuff. Cause I mean it, I mean I I did like in normal difficulty, but it was kind of kind of easy. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't like like super hard. Cause there was like some zombies that. I don't even like see, like all the all the forms. I know that they have like some brand new imagined like boss zombies. Yeah, so they have a big ass like it basically looks like a rancor from Star Wars, but a zombified. <laughs> so like, I fuck with it. It's pretty dope. It killed me like off the bat, and I had to restart the whole thing. And I'm like, bruh, I don't know. I was supposed to run away. You know what I mean? Because oh, no. I was like, bro, there's no, there's no way I'm gonna kill this fucking rancor with this SMG, but I tried. You know what I mean? Oh no. So there was that. Yeah, I really want to start playing that, but I heard that it's kind of like one of those games, just like Left 4 Dead. You need to, you need to play it with people. Yeah. Like, a party of people, party of four. Because I was playing it... Kind of like uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, facts. Because by yourself... Oh, no, that's five. Yeah, that's five. That's the killer and the five. Like, it's, it's decent. Like, uh, it is fun, Dead by Daylight, but it's more cracked with more people. Because mm-hmm. that shit's just goofy, bro. 
But I like how they, they actually, like, update their game. You know what I mean? It's not just willy-billy. Yeah. And, uh, I know we were kind of just talking about this off the stream. But about getting some people on, on here and interviewing them. Facts. So. What do you think about that? That's definitely something that, that I would do. Or obviously it will do. It will take some time, because because you're talking about uh, like some of the Naruto characters, and it's it is doable. Because some of them aren't like that big named, so for yeah. some sort of cash, they'll be like, you know what, fuck it, I'll I'll do it for the one time with these uh these randos. And uh, yeah, dude, I think it'd be so cool. So yeah. And then you have uh. A friend out somewhere that you were thinking about bringing on the show? Like over in Sweden? Yeah, so the person who created my, not my first logo, but my second one, he was uh, from Sweden. He's actually got a, a not sponsored, but like they they put out his work that he made on like, because he makes like, he loves making uh, Halo designs. Like his own like designs, yeah. and he'll put them on his story or whatever. And the actual like Halo and Microsoft page put it on their story, like shouting him out, Ooh. saying like, "Yo, check this out." So he made my uh, my logo, and obviously my uh, the logo that I have right now was uh, reworked, and yeah. that's what I have now. But so I told him, I'm like, "Yo," because he has his own channel, and it I forgot what it's called. It was like something pineapple or some shit. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't even remember. But I was like, yo, uh, you down to hop on? You know what I mean? Like, to do the podcast, I told him. And he told me he's uh, from Sweden or Switzerland or some shit. And he was like, yeah, the best time for me that I could do it is in the morning. But that's at night, like right now for us. So I was like, bro, that's, that's yeah. even perfect. You know what I mean? That's like, yo, get him on. And for Halo, I could talk about Halo for days. Like, that's my shit. Oh, dude, I love Halo. And then... I really liked Halo Reach. Yeah, Halo Reach was a, a really good game, because campaign-wise, so one of the quotes for Spartans is, Spartans never die. They either go missing, or... I mean, well, they can't die, but, you know, for the morale for the troops, they can't die. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, there's that. But that that's the saying. As strong and OP Spartans are, it was still possible to to kill Spartans. So the Covenant itself destroyed the whole planet of Reach, basically. And Ooh. and these Spartans were dying one by one, except for one of them that survived, which was uh, June. But yeah, I saw like this video of that like kid. He's like, it's so much class, and then it's like sad, <laughs> sad ass music, and you see all the Spartans die. Damn, I was like, damn, that shit's sad as hell. Man, I remember playing Halo Three, and there's a one mission where you first like see the flood, mm -hmm. and that was so scary. Oh yeah. And because I'm pretty sure when I started playing that, I was like around 9 or 10. Yeah. And like for me and my brother Austin, that was that was the first game that we got. Like the first consoles was the Xbox 360. Yeah. Well, I mean, we had the PlayStation 2. And w that was like our first like big console that we could play online with and everything. We got like gaming chairs and this and that, and I remember we had we spent all of Christmas break just playing Halo Three, and uh, that mission where you see the flood, I was like, "What in the shit is this?" Yeah, that shit was spooky, and then the music didn't help. The fucking oh, dude, the the music in that game was phenomenal. Yeah, that shit was really good. And like, yeah, that shit was fun as hell. Halo Three and that, and uh, even the you play Halo Two, right? Or no? I played Halo Two. 
I played a little bit of Halo 2. So in Halo... I, d I never beat the game. Okay, it's either between Halo 1 or 2 when you, f you first time in that game, you meet the Flood. It's like in this big ass, like, tunnels, libraries. Bro, it's a fucking shit show. Because I remember I played it with my friend Andy. And he was like, bro, watch. We played on the heroic difficulty. You want to do legendary, but I already beat all the halos in legendary, and that shit's not easy. So that's why, alright, let's do it on heroic. And, uh. Yeah, heroic's what we played yeah, on. Yeah, he was like, bro, watch this fucker shoot me with a fucking rocket. And, bro, it did. The flood shot him with a <laughs> rocket, and it hit him direct. That man died. She was wonky. Man, like. It's crazy how I could think about every single mission that I played in Halo 3. Oh yeah, bro. I... And like Halo Reach, I really, I really love that game, but I can't remember every single thing about that game like I can about Halo 3. Oh yeah, I can't for the reason I probably played those campaigns like seven times each. Yeah. I was a fiend. I remember I first started playing in Halo 2 and I went to a friend of mine's house and they had it. And I was like, yo, what is this? But that game was so fun. But they, bro, they used to fuck me up. I was getting Dude, so that's how I found out about Halo. Because that's what our friend down the street at my old house would uh, play some Halo 2. We would go over there and just see him fuck people up with that little submachine gun. And, uh, bro, like, what? And I also found out about, uh, oh, man. It was that Naruto fighting game. The, the Ninja Storm, some shit? Yeah. Yeah, he had that game. And I remember, uh, he wanted me to play with him, so I played a match with him, and he was playing... Neji and uh, said like 60 poem and then for out for I don't know what reason I thought he said sticky balls. Yo, what? <laughs> so, Bro, what the I'm like, did this man just freaking pop me in the face and just say sticky balls? That man's a madness. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Long live. Hate to see it. But now nah, in in Halo Three, when I would face my friends in that game, cause I when we went to his house, we'd play. And I know now that that man was cheating, but I didn't know at the time. But what he would do, he would use the orb to fly around and find us, and obviously get out of the orb and kill me with a flamethrower. And I'm like, yo, where the fuck oh, this guy man. coming from? But yeah, that's how he was killing me. That's your bogey. That shit. What? So he was hacking? No, it was uh, it was the uh, on Forge, so you were able to play whatever. Ah. Uh, but that's okay. how he was able to get on the. To be on the Forge mode and able to fly around, find me, torch me with a flamethrower. Hate to see. Man, it. you know what game had a shit ton of hacks in it? What? Like. Well, that were. So, yeah, so World at War. <laughs> Bro, I already I mean, know. I play some zombies I already and know. people hack that game. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun though. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. Because I, I remember I the first time I played it was at my friend Mikey's house. And his cousin, he was like really good. This man had uh, got attacked dogs. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I'm getting attacked by fucking dogs, bro. Oh no. Who caught the pound? Yeah. Oh. Shit was crazy. And then, uh. I. I played it, like, kinda late. Uh. Yeah. I like, the game that. was already out, and, bro, that shit was so fun. And, like, it was like, bro, I would set up bouncing Bettys, and you're not able to see that shit at all. It's just oh, two little no. white lines on the floor. And I'd be sniping. <laughs> Bro, that shit was so fun. But out of nowhere, my screen would just be colorful letters. Uh, check out my uh, website. And you, you're able to buy mods. And I'm like, yo, what? Yeah. And then you see this guy is in god mode sniping up there. And I'm like, what? 
is going on? Man, I remember playing multiplayer and there was a tank that could fly. Oh, it was like a fucking flying tank. Like, oh, no. How's that man doing that? I'm like, man, I feel bad for these, for these people that were in this war because I want to know what to do with some flying tanks. Facts, facts. I do think World of War had like some of the best fucking zombie maps. Hell yeah, fucking um, Darius. Oh my gosh, yeah, Darius is my favorite. Bro, that shit was so fun. I remember the first time I got the Wonder Waffle. I was like, yo, what the hell is this? I had all the power in my hands. And I think I killed myself with it too. You know how if you get too close, the lightning shocks you? Oh my gosh, yeah. I was like, bruh, I just died with a, with a Wonder Weapon. I'm a menace. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the hell? Oh my gosh, yeah, that. I remember playing on Darius and just be up in the catwalk until you. And you just stay up there until you're dead. Yeah. She was. She was definitely cracked out. I remember uh, a friend of mine, he told me the. When he beat World at War, he was like, what, just waiting for the credits. And the moment he saw the zombie running towards the screen, he turned off his TV and PlayStation in terror, bro. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Like, that man was spooked. Spooked. But, you played the recent zombies, though? I mean, we did with Pack, but, like, the other... I know they came out with a recent new map. Oh, and the new Call of Duty? Yeah. Or the... I think it might be the same one. But, did mm, you... Wait, now... I'm talking about the one that we played with Pac? Yeah. I know that one that we tried playing, but that boss... Bro, that shit was hard as hell! This is my pack will revive me and I'll instant die. <laughs> and I'm like, bruh. Oh, but Pac? That man's going to Texas. Like, he's to live there. What? Yeah, that man moving to Texas. He's, he's becoming a Texas boy. And I'm like, what the hell? When did this happen? Uh, he's he told me like about a a month or two ago. He was like, yo, because he went to over there to visit, and he got me some anime bucks that he has not shipped yet. Fucking freaking pack. But he, oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, it's because of Binky Binky, and I'm like, bruh. Let me uh, send them an anime <laughs> box. It's like, all you have to do is just mail it. But, yeah, he said uh, he's going to move there. And, yeah, he's going to be a Texas boy. Does he have, like, family? I'm not sure if he has family there. I don't know, like, the main reason, because that's, like, you know, his business. But I was like, yo, that's fucking crazy. Like, like. Texas would be one of the places I would maybe go to. But Texas. We're at in Texas. Um I I'm not sure where he's he's gone. I'm not too sure. I feel like Austin, Texas would be a pretty cool place. Yeah, like you know you know who Rooster Teeth are, right? Yeah. If if they offered me like a job and it was like enough to have me set for a little bit over there, I'd moved to Texas. That's like the only reason I can think of. <laughs> Work for Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Because that's like, they're one of the people that inspired me to, you know, to do YouTube. So, it was them and the the Rad Brad. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Do those Rage Quit videos? Bro, yes. Because they were like in the beginning of YouTube. You know what I mean? They were like at the start. Mm -hmm. And my friend was like, yo, you gotta watch these. Uh, rage quit video. This man would get so mad. Michael, he would just start yelling. Oh, yeah. Oh, my 
gosh, I used to watch his videos all the freaking time. This man had a fight at uh, Shao Kong with Liu Kang. This man's yelling. <laughs> Dude, the Mortal Kombat videos were the best. Hell yeah, bro, they were, that man was yelling. Or you played the fucking Meat Boy, or what, what was that game called? Yeah, it's like one of those games that's just like yeah. designed to piss you off. Yeah, one of those. I remember that in the Impossible Quiz. Oh yeah, that shit was funny. Like he, he didn't have a <laughs> shot. Like the answer was A and it was wrong. He's like, what? What do you mean? I remember one, he like chose all four answers. And all he had to do was like click on the dot that was on the I in the question. Yeah. And he's like, what the hell is this? What in the hell, but Yeah, because uh, when we did the the Minecraft, that's why I like... I mean, I, no, the only ideas I did want to do was the fishing game that we never did. But that's like kind of where, where I wanted to start the, the Minecraft series. Yeah. It was like, yo, because... Obviously not exactly what they do, but it was just like similar, I guess. But man, my house still isn't built. Bro, you like <laughs> it was like it looks so good. Like a two architect man. Yeah, it was like so good, and then there's nothing inside. <laughs> and I'm like, huh? <laughs> what the hell? This is your house. You gotta finish it, bro. Yeah, we got we to open that back up. Yeah, because the, the reason I kind of stopped was, one, it was kind of hard to get, like, everybody on to, to do an episode. Like, it, it wasn't easy. Like, the time we did the Halloween event, bro, I had a, like, two weeks in advance, like, hey, try to, like, all right, are you able to do it this day? Can you do it this day around this time? They're like, no, yes, no, it's yes. I had to find, like, the right time. And uh, we pulled it off. But besides that, like, before, we had to, like, set up the Halloween event. And I don't know, you were there, right? Or no, for the Halloween one. I think that was maybe the last one that I did. You're not. Dude, I really like that Halloween event. Yeah. So, yeah, we did the, the burial shit. We did the pumpkin... To find the, it was basically like Hunger Games, but Halloween that we made in that little area. I made the fucking pop up, um, haunted house, which was not easy because I had to work with redstone. I'm like, bruh, I don't know how to do this shit, but I got some of it to work. My brother, you know, they're more into the like the architect like you, so they know how to like build better. So he had like that castle, he did the maze. And I think Pac ended up winning the game. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel like we were all confused. Who who was it that was just killing everybody? I think it was uh my brother, my younger brother and Pac. Yeah. And then because they were just killing yeah, everybody they were like and teaming then up. I was just like, you know what? Since they keep killing me, I'll just go start killing people too. Yeah. Because cause, right, we planned it, but when we actually did it, it was like, all right, how are you actually going to get all all this uh, items to build a golem? Because it's not, a, you need a lot of iron to get a golem. You know what I mean? So uh, we were like, all right, fuck it. We could kill each other now. Whoever builds the golem, builds the golem. And I remember a pack. He was like, yo, hey, I was like, hey, pack, you use that sort of to like kill my uh, younger brother you can just take his shit and win the game he's like oh yeah and he kills him off the spot bro I'm like, yo yo huh, yo what the hell and he ends up uh winning and i think i got brought i was so close to winning too i made it to the top and i was about to place like the last block and i got like killed or i got lit on fire or some shit i was so close but no cigar that shit was wonk <laughs> we had a what did we have to make at the end uh, I think it was the golem or something we had to like get the iron the iron blocks and we make the golem to win and we had prizes oh, yeah. that I don't remember what it was 
but yeah, it was kind of hard to like get everybody to to be on. Cause I right, I think it was like six max, and mm-hmm. I think they uh, made it like more now, like on Xbox and stuff. Like more people could uh like join. But back then, it was like, all right, let's try to get as much people, and that way it'll be like, that shit goes down. Like, hey, we even had that 4th of July America shit. You know the vibes? <laughs> we had a whole show. Brazy. You, you don't know how many creepers I killed and how many gas I killed just to get those fireworks. I was... Oh my gosh, I really like that, the fireworks show. Yeah, one of the funniest things in the series was with Austin. When we moved this cows into his house, oh my gosh. and then we find out that he killed so them all. There's freaking cows in his house. He was like, dude, where's all my cows? <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. He's like, bro, I just killed them all. Like, bruh. But that shit was hilarious. We pranked him. He never came back. He was like, fuck all that shit. Man, we gotta start that back up. Yeah, but the reason, like, the, I haven't is because the updates, we had to go so far out just so some generated uh, blocks will actually have the thing. And then it's not even the complete update. You know what I mean? So we had to expand and yeah. expand and expand just for to able to even see or get the new stuff. And I mean, we oh yeah, the last last episode was when we killed Ender Dragon. That's what I remember. Yeah, we killed Ender Dragon. So that was like, so we didn't like complete our main goal. It yeah, was that a uh, thing that had the wings. Mmm. <laughs> That makes you fall. I forgot what it's called, but we were able, we were all able. Did I remember do that? I died so many times. Yeah, I think I was the first one to fly, and I insta died or something. I just like flew into the abyss, or I flew down and just hit the floor. I'm like, what? No, no <laughs> landing pads. And it was like, oh, I'm flying. I'm flying. <laughs> flying. Oh no. That I'm is hell. Never made Broke it. Every bone in my legs. Never made it. Because one of the goals that I had was, all right, I want to get all the achievements for this. Because they're all pretty basic. You know what I mean? It's not like they're super hard. Obviously, some are harder than others. But yeah. at a certain time, I was trying to get this achievement, and I did it, but I wasn't getting the achievement. And I was like, oh, shit. It's because the achievements were blocked. Because I teleported Austin because he was rage quitting because he couldn't make it to the base the first day. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. We can't get the achievement. Dude, I know when Austin was raging on that fucking Griffin and Witcher oh, 3. Oh, bro, I, was, I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> like, man, I don't know what to fucking do. Bro, hey. This fucking Griffin is fucking me up. I can't do nothing about it. Hey, that Griffin was hard. No cap. Oh, yeah. Well, it was our man, bro. That, that's just like a little tester. You can get past that Griffin. Oh, yeah. Then you're good the whole yeah. game. Because Deadass, that might be... The toughest yeah. boss, I think. I yeah. Think. It's, I don't know if it's the toughest, but probably top five, which says a lot. Because it's the first, oh, yeah, for sure. the first thing you see. It's the first boss, and I remember when I faced him, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, same. All I did was that telepathic shit. And I'd just make him dizzy for a little bit, get a couple swings, and yeah. I'd run away and do the same shit. Because, yeah, the first time, I kept, I was using the the crossbow. Because I was like, yo, all right, Vesemir gave me this for a reason. And that wasn't doing shit. It was doing, like, one damage. And I'm like, bro, come on, man. This is, like, <laughs> not doing nothing. And then, no, because the first time I got the game, because I, I heard the game was really good. The Witcher got game of the year. I don't know what year, but I got game of the year. And then the first spirit killed me. Like, you, you know when you go to the, the place of power? 
Well, they had the the wraiths there, and they killed me. And I'm like, nah, fuck this. This shit's too hard. So I quit. I stopped playing. But I came back, and I I got like pretty good at the game. I knew like how to play the game basically. Like I knew what was good. And then, yeah, the you gotta finish it. The Witcher's a really good game. Oh yeah, I really wanna wa I really wanna finish like, that game. Like the lore, everything, like dude, it's fucking great. Like at first, like shit was hard, and I was like, fuck this. But like playing it, actually playing it, like paying attention, like what the signs are, and you know, actually paying attention how the game is. Shit, uh, shit gets easy. Cause once you know what you're doing, like shit's kind of baby. You just get through. And then, uh... I, f I forget. Oh, yeah, I know where I stopped at. The orphans. Yeah, the mother... The damn orphans of the damn tree spirit. Yeah, so... Got me all fucked so up. So my friend Mikey was playing it recently, and that's where he was at, too. I think he killed the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, see, everyone killed the fucking spirit except for my uh, dumb ass. I was like, I'm gonna listen to this tree spirit. It seems nice. <laughs> and now the the spirit just goes into a horse and it lets the kids go, but then it kills off like five other neighboring villages. Yeah, the fucking black death happens or something. Because there's a horse with like red eyes. I don't know if you actually see it. But it, in the game I played, Gwent, it's uh, there's a card for it. it. Looks pretty dope. But yeah, but your ending with uh, with the Baron, I don't know what events you did that triggered that. Cause even if you kill or if you don't kill the spirit, I don't know what happens to the point where that even happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's, that's how, what the whole game's about, too. It's just like, oh, you pick something, and you roll with it. Made a bad decision. It's on you. Yeah, because, all right, so if you're planning to play it, I'm going to tell you this right now without spoilers. Towards the end, with Siri, whatever you think is right, it's probably not right. And that will determine a big change in the end. And in the beginning of the game, you meet the devil. And you will see him again. But you don't know it's the devil. Because mm -hmm. I told Mikey, I was like, hey. You... At the beginning of the game, you, you see the devil. Yeah, you meet the devil. But you don't know it's the devil until until like later on. In one of the DLCs, but that's oh my god! Is it Roach? Bro Roach is the it, main boss. Yeah, what? <laughs> That'd be crazy, but no. Cause yeah, it's uh, you, you probably don't even remember. Cause that ass, it's something that you. It's just a hey, just part of the game, whatever. But eventually, you'll see that person again, and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. what? And then you find out, like, hey, bro, that's the fucking devil. <laughs> you just never knew. I, I really need to start playing that again. Yeah, that shit's really good. And then, because the new uh, Witcher Season 2 coming out on Netflix. And I don't know if you've seen the trailer for Ooh. it. Yeah. You seen you seen the first season or no? Yeah, I've seen the first one. Alright, so second season, it looks better. Because obviously the first one, they had to like introduce you to the characters. Blah, blah, blah. You, you find out how Jennifer became Jennifer. But this one looks really good so far. Like You see like more beasts. And monsters and shit. But... So there's that. You gotta watch the the animated uh, movie, The Nightmare of the Wolf. Ooh. Cause that one's when uh, Vesemir was a a kid, and how he became a witcher. Ooh. So that story is like really good. So, you see. Where's that at? It's on Netflix. 
No. I didn't know that. Yeah, I put it in the chat. I don't know if uh, Austin saw it. I don't know if you ever if you saw the message or not, but yeah, cause all right, you know, you seen Castlevania? I didn't see it, but you seen Castlevania? Yeah, I saw a little bit of Castlevania. So the animation is kind of like similar. It's like that oh, style. Okay. So yeah, if you like Castlevania, how their animation is, it's kind of the same. But yeah, you should watch it. It's like an hour, like twenty minutes or something. But the story is really good, and then. Yeah, it's basically. You see how Vesemir became the Witcher, and I've seen season two of this show, The Witcher. You we're gonna now, uh, see Vesemir. Did they say when season two's coming out? I think. I'm gonna search it up because I don't I don't remember. Uh, it might be December. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah. The Witcher, December 17. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to rewatch it. All Just right. to pick, on, pick up on everything that happened. Because you know in the first season on how Geralt finds the, the, the djinn or the genie? And he has yeah. to make a wish? Mm-hmm. So that's in The Witcher 3. Yeah. So, alright, so... Obviously, he makes the wish so Geralt and Yennefer could be, like, bound together by, like, destiny, right? Yeah. But in The Witcher 3, Yennefer has Geralt help her find another djinn to, to undo that wish. But you choose how how you react to it. So there's no spoiler. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to decide how you play that out. But I thought that was cool because it's in the show and then you see it in the game. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you said that the DLCs are pretty crazy. Yes. So what almost called the Heart of Stone. It, yeah. That one's like really good. Like story-wise, it's like really good. It's heat. And, and what's the other one called? Like blood of something. Yeah, blood and wine. Yeah. All right. So first, uh, the heart and stone. You you're able to play it, like Willy Billy. Like you can just start the DLC, and uh, that ending will tell you how to get the good ending for the campaign. No, really. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't tell you directly. But it gives you clues on how to get the good ending. But um, how to get to that ending, I'm not really sure. Because I got a whole different ending. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I've seen like all on YouTube like all the endings. And that was like one of them. Like, oh, if, if you do this and this and that, uh, the ending, it will tell you how to complete the campaign to get the good ending. Because apparently I got the bad ending, which I was kind of pissed. Uh. But the Blood and Wine, you can only play it at a certain level. Because that shit is hard. Because it involves with, like, vampires. Ooh. But that shit's, like, good. Like, story-wise, that shit's heat. Are the vampires tough to kill? Yeah. Some of them, yeah. There's a part where, yeah, you fight some, like, tough-ass vampires. Cause the they have different type of vampires. They have like they have like a regular vampires. I forgot the names. And then there's like higher vampires, which is like humanoids, but they're smarter and they're obviously stronger. In the sense, a vampire can't get killed. So you figure out how you're gonna kill the a vampire. Yeah, I remember having to go up against a werewolf and I had to research on what I needed to kill that werewolf and I didn't get Wolfsbane from that first herb lady at the beginning of the game because you get Wolfsbane if you help her out but I was just like fuck this bitch yeah I didn't <laughs> help her either I'm like a yeah way to get Wolfsbane. yeah I'm not gonna go to the garden and pick flowers I'm gonna go kill some shit 
And apparently that's what you needed to do. Yeah, like, it, it wasn't like getting Wolfsbane, but making that oil to put on your sword. I yeah, was like, oh, that shit. Yeah. And the game made you jump through a lot of hoops just to get that oil, too, to get the recipe. Facts, facts. I was like, great, this game's telling me I should have helped that fucking lady. Yep, yep. Because, uh... Alright, so in, in the Blood and Wind, you get another ending, right? So, mm -hmm. technically, that's like the... I guess if you want to officially like have like the ending ending so for me i got the good ending yeah. and then there's like other like bad endings because it's like i said it's all depending what you do within the game that changed the endings and you don't really know you know what i mean it's not like mm -hmm. all right if i do this this gonna no you just don't know it's just a chain of events that impact the ending and uh because there's one ending where it has, like, all your friends in it. Like, everyone that you've met in the game. But I'm like, huh? What the fuck? I didn't even know that was possible. Because my ending was just with, uh, uh, with, no, with no spoiler, was with just uh, with a person. And obviously, it tells you what happens or whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think I got the good ending. So after the bad ending that I got... Which I have my own theory because I ain't gonna assume my bad ending is a bad ending. Fuck all that shit. But, <laughs> yeah, but the, I did get it, like that good ending, I guess. But I'm just letting you know because when it comes to making like choices, it's kind of you gotta be like, all right, is this the right thing to do? You know what I mean? Man, I I just remember that. It was orphan kids, and I was like, oh, man, I fucked it up. I fucked everything up. And I told you where it was in the game, and you're like, dude, that's still, like, in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, at the beginning. Because I remember you had to, like, play hide-and-seek with the orphans. And I'm like, bro, I don't... These, these orphans are playing games. They don't know what they're messing with. But yeah, you she's definitely cracked. You gotta you gotta finish the game. Like the story is really good. And you gotta play Cyberpunk too. Facts, facts. Cause I was gonna play it when they were like, alright, the game's gonna be ready this month and then they were like, Yeah, there's not gonna be another big update in until like a couple more months. So I'm like, ah, because, like, I want to enjoy the game at its max. Because I know CD Projekt Red can make a good game. You know what I mean? Because uh, I saw my brother play it. And this man was driving on the highway. And uh, his car went through a building. And it kind of got stuck there. And I was like, yikes. And I remember these, uh, they were enemies that just weren't fighting back. And I'm like, bruh. They're just standing there holding guns. I hate to see it. You really uh, do. I'm pretty excited, like for the DLC that they might be coming up for Cyberpunk. Like as soon as they get the game 100% fixed, if it's not already. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% because they were talking about. They might even push back the DLC. Because I'm not sure if they're ready for that. Because I know they were going to have The Witcher 3 like remastered for a new gen. But they pushed that back. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure when uh. they were going to release that. Like I mean, it's, it, like, it runs pretty smooth. Like right now, if you if you play The Witcher Three, it's still the same thing. Like it runs good, but they obviously they want to like update the graphics. They wanted to add the, the 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 Netflix thing to it, so I think it's just like the armor and other like side missions, like from the Netflix show. Basically linking it. 
at something like that. I I can't wait, and like hopefully in the future they do it as good as The Witcher, which I don't think it will be as good. Cause, cause I didn't play The Witcher like off the bat, but from like comments and what other people said that the game was kind of buggy also the witcher but then they like kept like working on it and fixing it and uh, got game of the year you know what i mean so i know like they could do it they can make it a solid game like a better than it is or like uh just fix the bugs at least because the the graphics were pretty good it's just uh if you're going over 60 and the map doesn't load, then, then you run into fake barriers. That's where it's like, ooh. Yeah. The game was looking good. Because I remember my brother got in this car, and he wasn't able to get out the car. And I was like, oh, oh no. this man can't get out the car. He was glitched in there. So you just gotta give it time. Yeah. Uh, Alright, cause you gotta think about it this way. CD Projekt Red isn't a big company. Cause I searched it up. They only have like 10,000 like workers. And I'm not sure how they how they work now. Cause with the, the run on everything. If they have like uh, regulations or whatever. But compared to Activision that has over a hundred thousand workers you know what I mean and their games still yeah. come out buggy as hell so I don't know and they get all their money from the battle pass and in game transactions but yet their games are still kind of buggy and wonky you know what I mean so I'm not sure what but that's maybe just need more workforce maybe it was yeah with the covid going on and all of that maybe kind of brought them some troubles yeah because that's how my friend like yo they have quotas to meet they have you know they have to make money for the shareholders and the the game just isn't ready but they got to make the money you know what i mean it's the investments so... of Whoever is behind the scene to make this game. And even for the company, the company got to make uh, money too. Yeah, and true. So. For future games. Yeah. And I, I think CD Projekt Rex should have just uh, delayed Cyberpunk until it was like 100%, or at least like 90%. <laughs> yeah. But they just. Because uh, that was a little embarrassing, bro. They just. Like, pushed it out. Dude, I was pissed because it was supposed to come out on my birthday. Yeah. And it got held off to, like, midsummer and then winter time. I'm like, man, I don't fucking know. Yeah. I don't know when this game's going to come out. Bro, GameStop had to give everyone their money back. Oh, no. Like, like what? Come on, now. And then people were mad. This, right, this is what I thought was dumb. People were mad that... They returned the game, got their money back, but they weren't able to play the game. They were mad as hell. And it's like, bro, that's that's what happens when you return the game, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, the people who bought it, like, like digital, they are like, all right, we get our money back for buying it. But obviously, they're not able to play it no more. But they will get, like, angry. They're like, yo, I didn't even beat the game yet. You're just gonna now have me play it? And like, bro, you kind of returned it, but I give you your money, chief. They're here angry. Cause the very I remember I was pissed off too. Yeah. Cause that, the when my brother got the game the first day, I saw him play it. Bro, that shit was dark. <laughs> like the shaders. Oh no. That shit was so dark. And I'm like, damn, bro, it's just dark and red. Like, I guess, like, uh, it's supposed to have that nightlight feel, but, like, yo, you can't see shit in there. 
but then now, like recently, because uh, you played it a little bit like a month ago, and that's when I was telling you, like, yo, the graphics look good. Yeah, I, I remember when I started playing it, the game was actually, like, looking really good. I only had, like, a few bugs, maybe three bugs, yeah. like, playing throughout the whole game, and I really liked it. Yeah. Because I'm not saying it's not bad. I'm just saying, like, they probably, I know it probably pissed people off, but they should have delayed it. Yeah. And then have it as uh, how it is now. Cause right now it's better than it was when they released it. Bro, they had to make a official statement saying like, "Hey, sorry, we just didn't know uh, it wasn't gonna run as smooth as we thought." And I'm like, "What? Did you guys not play the game you guys made?" Yeah, normally like the studios have like game testers. Yeah. I bet that the game testers told them, but they're like, no, our deadline's like tomorrow. And they're yeah. like, dude, you guys still got like months of development here. And they're like, no, we need something now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the people behind the scenes, you know, they have quotas to reach. But they, obviously they learned the hard way and lost more money. Because, you know, their stock went down and all that. Yeah. But that's why, like, Rockstar, their games take fucking forever to make. Like, six years. More. More or less. Because they're, like, fucking phenomenal right out the gate. And they come out great, bro. GTA V was a masterpiece. That shit, dude. Oh, yeah. You're able to do everything there. Dude, I'm afraid that, like, I'm afraid for, like, them making another GTA because how can they top that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Cause, all right, after the heist, they had like some DLCs, which was really dope. You know, I like how the DLCs were free. Yeah. That way, you know, anyone can play it. They had the new cars, new this, new missions. You're able to, bro. You were able to sell like, uh, meth and shit, from a biker club. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> What the hell's going on? And then, then uh, the following one was like, all right, you're able to buy a doomsday bunker. All right, now you're able to buy uh, nightclubs. Obviously, the more you hustle, the more you make money. Obviously, well, obviously, yeah. but like in the game, it's like, yo, like, there's ways for you to you make own money your own, now. Like business. Yeah, like you become like a you CEO. Can own your own corporate business. Yeah. Because like, I remember when the game first came out, I was doing the same mission over and over and over again just so I could save yeah, money for heist. a car bro. Yeah. <laughs> that was before they had the heists I remember I uh, oh no so it was a mission called like coveted and uh, rooftop rumble I'll do that mission over and over again cause uh, it would be like the most money you'd get it would be like 20 like 40 grand but every yeah. time you do it, so twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, so like twenty five k every time I saved up and I bought like a four hundred k car, and I'm like, damn, bro, now I gotta save up another a hundred a grand for the <laughs> upgrades. Back to the grind. Back to the grind. But now it's like, all right, you save your money, you buy a business, you still gotta hustle your ass off, and you'll make a lot. I remember I had Zach help me. Uh, we had to transport these um, these guns, and the max profit was 800 grand. And I'm like, bro, what? I just do this one mission for 800 grand? It took a couple of days <laughs> for all that uh, to fill up to sell at max. And I remember yeah. uh, we weren't able to deliver all the cargo because we had to, for some reason, do it in monster trucks. So I ended up making like 600 grand. But, Ooh. so, I saw, like, uh, this clip. That's still pretty good, though. Yeah, that's a lot. Don't get me wrong. But it yeah. was like, all right, for the time I waited for the for the stock and everything to fill up, it took a while. But, hey, six, 600 grand, that's a lot. But what I saw that was tragic was uh, this streamer. He had his, like, his fans, like, help him. He was delivering, like, uh, with the Titans, right? That big-ass plane ship full of cargo with, like, $3 million worth, right? 
and one yeah. of them purposely destroyed the plane. He crashed it on oh. purpose. So he lost half the money, bro. Because the thing oh, is, if no. it gets destroyed, it's just gone. Oh, no. Because once you're delivering like cargo like that, it shows up on the map. So that's why he had like people like help him deliver that. But yeah, his family. Have you seen the videos of people doing the GTA role play? Yeah. This is Dude, funny. I want to do that so fucking bad. Bro, it was uh, Rice Gum and T Grizzly. Out of all the people, mm -hmm. those two people were role playing in GTA, and I'm like, yo, what is going on? Man, I remember seeing T Grizzly's uh, Twitch stream and yeah. him playing it. And I'm like, what? I was like, yo, is that T Grizzly playing GTA? And there's fucking 20 goons posted up in the game. What the hell? Dude, I know when I get get my gaming PC, I'll be playing that for sure. Hell yeah. That's just gonna be. I crack. think you have to have like the special RP servers. Uh, I have no idea. I only seen like some of the videos. I'm not sure how they do it, but that shit looks fun, mm -hmm. bro. I, I saw like one of them was a bird. He was just causing havoc. Oh no! I'm like, what is going on? Did I send you the one where they were like doing a Naruto fight battle on these train tracks? Mm -hmm. One dude was like, I think so, yeah. Yeah, one of them was like being Sasuke. Yeah. And the other one was like some nerdy dude named like Oscar. <laughs> He's like, I'ma hit you with <laughs> with my Dragon Ball Jutsu. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> like, makes it up two animes. That man's a menace. It's so <laughs> they just say Mangeku Sharing God. I'm like, oh. It just makes no sense. You gotta finish. Oh, uh, yeah. Last uh, last weekend, uh, I was talking to my girlfriend about like how much I really like Naruto, and we were trying so hard to like learn the hand signs for ninjutsus. Nice. Like I'm pretty sure I got the fireball jutsu one down. But man, I showed her videos of people like doing it fast. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these people having like Kakashi type speed. Oh yeah, some people are crap. Copycat ninja. Some of them be summoning real shit sometimes. I'm like, huh? Yo, what the Yeah, they're any of those signs. You just gotta learn the. Because I mean, they all have like words. It would be like water, fire, whatever. But that might be easier to start learning. I don't even know none of them, but that's just, just the way. But uh, she's gonna get you that Jiraiya pop. Yeah, she she was asking to ask me about it. I showed her a picture of it. She took a screenshot of it. Um, I'd be really excited if she gets that for me. Hell yeah, blood. That's gonna be heat. Do you got any uh, new pops lately, or not really? No, I, I still got my two pops. I did get one pop. It's a uh, Venom Thanos. Nice madness. I like to get more. I like to have like a not like a huge collection, but just like a small one. Yeah. What would you get, or what would you want? Um. I really like to get a cool ass Iron Man one. Hell yeah. There's a decent amount of them. Just gotta look to which one you want. But you could get like, the... I like the ones that are like scenes like that Naruto Sasuke one I have. Yeah, that one's dope. So there might be a... Uh, an Itachi with the, with the crows pop. Ooh. So, I think that one might be made, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. There was another one, and Pac said he was going to uh, get me it. I'm like, huh? Bo-day? 
but I think it doesn't come out till like next year. I'm like, bruh. Oh no. There's a. I did see people like, you know, those kind of like. It's not really Funko Pops, but it is kind of like a action figure. Not really action figure, but it's just kind of like a. A figurine that you could put together, and there's a scene, and everything. I saw a Tachi one that's kind of like what you said that had crows on it, and it had uh, what's that uh, what's that called that Itachi had the spirit. Uh, the Susano. Yeah, it had the Susano in the background, with uh, crows all over, and he was sitting on like that throne when him and Sasuke fought. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. That's like a... I'm about to... I'm about to send you this picture. This Funko Pop. And this one's like a... It's glow in the dark, too. Like a custom, or... Um... Let me see if I can find the Itachi one for you. Gotcha, gotcha. Be the Iron Man's heat. Dude, that glove, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet glows in the dark. Hell yeah, boy. Because there's a, a bunch that either glow in the dark or I'll have that like a uh, black light, uh, black light uh, effect. Mmm. Because one of the recent ones I ordered was Courage, the Carly dog. Ordered that one, but I have no idea when it's going to come in. Comes in when it comes in, you know what I mean? I know when I open it. But Hunter Gunner, we're this comes in when it comes in. Yeah, we're towards the the ending markers. Are there any last things you want to say? Um, just uh, just be ready. Hopefully, here soon. Maybe uh, maybe down the line. But we're gonna try to get some people on here. You know the vibes. We might but, get some uh, Naruto voice actors. Maybe unconfirmed. Maybe unconfirmed. Unconfirmed <laughs> sooner or later. It's whatever happens first. You know what I mean? How it, it goes? It is what it is. We do what we can. I do want to shout out for that uh, Gwyneth Paltrow Gucci candle yep. story. But, um, I found out about that because I was talking to my girlfriend and she told me that her dad told her about that and that's how I found about, there found you out go, about there it. So you shout go. out to my girlfriend and her dad, Mr. Steve. <laughs> shout out to them. You know the vibes. Shout out. And uh, like and subscribe. Check us out live streams on Thursday nights or whenever we feel like doing it. And the video you know it. and the videos are uploaded when they're uploaded. You know the vibes. You know it.